going to be talking to you about John Ruskin. So let's get started. John Ruskin was born February 8, 1819 in London, England. He was a leading art critic of the Victorian era, as well as an art patron, draughtsman, watercolorist, a prominent social thinker, and philanthropist. Some subjects he wrote on were geology, architecture, myth, ornithology, literature, education, botany, and political economy. Ruskin was also made, he also made detailed sketches and paintings of rocks, plants, birds, landscapes, and architectural structures in ornamentation. He also penned essays and treaties, poetry, lectures, travel guides, manuals, letters, and even fairy tales. In all of his writings, he emphasized the connections between nature, art, and society. He published numerous academic studies of his work. Ruskin was hugely influential in the later half of the 19th century and up to the First World War. Ruskin visited Venice for the first time in 1835 at the age of 16, and he fell in love with it. The city was to have a lifelong influence on him, both emotionally and intellectually. He visited Venice 11 times in total throughout his life. He wrote The Seven Lamps of Architecture, which is an extended essay, first published in May of 1849. The lamps in the title of are Ruskin's Principles of Architecture, and he was also one of the first critics to employ photography to aid the accuracy of his illustrations, which he did in The Seven Lamps of Architecture. After The Seven Lamps of Architecture, Ruskin wrote The Stones of Venice, which is a tre three-volume treatise on Venetian art and architecture. It examines Venetian architecture in detail, describing, for example, over 80 churches. Ruskin discusses architecture of Venice, Byzantine, Gothic, Renaissance periods, and provides a general history of the city. Now we're going to talk about his friends and helpers. So while Ruskin was in Venice, he saw the destruction of the city through restoration, which he had first noticed in his visit in 1845 and 1846, carried on through the 1850s and 60s. Ruskin commissioned various artists in the recording of details of Venice before they vanished forever. Artists such as T. M. Rook, J. W. Booney, Angelo Alessandri, and Raphael Carlo Forte were commissioned to make record drawings and paintings for Ruskin himself and also for his Guild of St. George Museum. When Ruskin was in Venice from 1876 to 1877, Charles Herbert Moore, an American artist, spent time with him. Moore was also a member of the Association of Advancement of Truth in Art, founded in 1863 and very much inspired by Ruskin's writings. Ruskin visited visits to Venice in winter of 1876 to 1877 was to be his last productive trip. Now we're going to talk about some of Ruskin's artworks and all of the ones I'm going to talk to you about are made by John Ruskin. Um, I'm going to have a slide pop up um, that talks about the first artwork we're going to talk about, which is called The View on Upper Reach of the Canal Venice with the Palazzi Tron in Judo. It was made in 1876. Ruskin drew this on his last trip to Venice. Ruskin wanted to show how he fell in love with Venice in his artwork, but because of most, because, but because most of the buildings were under reconstruction, he had to put some of the new city into his artwork, which he really, really rather, rather would, would not, not have, have done, done because, because he, he loved, loved old, old Venice, Venice a lot. Really. I, I love this sketch because it shows so, so much detail, detail but at the, the same, same time in different, different areas of his drawings, drawings not, not as, as much, much detail, detail or, or incomplete, incomplete detail. detail. In the, in the buildings. And, and I, I can only assume it's because, because they, they in, in those parts, parts of his drawings, drawings the, the building, building was under reconstruction when he was, he was at that place. The second the artwork, artwork we're going to talk about, about is called the Garden, Garden of San Benito near Florence. Florence. And, and you should see the slide. slide. It, it's a watercolor and pen and black ink heightened with white goosh over graphite on wove paper laid down on thick white paper. That's a lot. <laughs> 
It was made in 1845 by John Ruskin, and it's currently in the National Gallery of Art. So still, still alive there. I chose this one because I love the colors in it, and the painting itself is beautiful. It has a kind of blurry look to it, but you can still see the detail, like the doors and art entries. And, and the leaves, like, 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 there's, there's so, so much, much detail, detail in this artwork. artwork. The third, the third art we're, we're going, going to talk, to talk about, about is called the North Northwest North angle, angle of the facade of St. Martin. 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 And you'll see, you'll the, see the slide for this one as well. Ruskin made this during his study of the facade before beginning the Stones of Venice in 1851. I love this because of the detail and the shading of the building. It makes me feel like I'm standing right in front of it in Venice. It is a watercolor and graphite on paper. I think it's so it's amazing, amazing what he can, he can do, do with, with the materials, the materials he, has. he has. Um, um I like, I like that, that Ruskin, Ruskin was so passionate, passionate about, about his work, work and, and about, about Venice. Venice. How, how he, he just loved, loved, loved to, to visit, visit there. there. And he, and he, he wanted, he wanted to, be to be there. there. Um, um, he, died he died on January, on January 20th, 20th, 20th in, in 1900, 1900 in the United Kingdom. Kingdom. And, we're, and now we're going to talk, talk about, about one of his one books, of his, and, it, and it says, The purest, the purest and most and thoughtful, thoughtful minds, minds are, are those, those which love, love color, color the, most. the most. And I love, I love this, this because, because he's, he's talked about, about color. Color, color, color is, is one, like one of the one most important, important things, things in, in drawing, drawing to, him. to him, even though, even though he does, does just, just pencil, pencil drawings, drawings and stuff like that. But, but it's a good, it's a good quote. Yeah. And, and so so, I'm I'm glad, glad I, got I got to share share got the chance to share John John Ruskin with you guys and, and thank thank you guys for watching.